Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a prefab home company bringing a bit of affordability back to housing. There's been a lot of changes in offsite construction lately with new companies entering the space and rethinking how things are done because times are changing. It doesn't matter if you're looking for an offsite constructed home built with a wood frame, steel frame, or structural insulated panels, there are plenty of builders in each category with their own benefits, price points, and designs. One of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel is the feedback I get from the good people who take the time to watch my videos. I feel like I have a pulse on what people like by trial and error because if I post something they don't, there's a lineup of people ready to serve me a hot lunch. One of the most common comments I get on my channel is how does blank hold up to blank? Insert company and storm of your choice. So imagine my delight when I came across a company building with something said to be hurricane proof, earthquake proof, fire resistant, and withstands threatening climates and conditions. The company I'm talking about is called Box Vana and their light pan constructed tiny homes, park models, and modulars. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, check out their homes, and look at their pricing. Boxvana is a US-based company building a variety of different homes and structures from tiny homes to modulars. They say, we believe in building better. We love building structures that are better for everyone, better for families, better for the community, and better for the world. At Boxvana, we use 21st century materials to build 21st century homes and structures, and we're proud to be North America's exclusive provider of light pan. What we're talking about here is structural insulated panels that they currently have the North American exclusive rights to, and from where I'm sitting, that brings some nice benefits to Boxvana and the end user. It can be assembled in mere days or even hours. It's lighter than wood, concrete, and steel. It's sealed airtight for true temperature control and energy efficiency, and it's eco-friendly. All of those things combined mean less labor, less time, lower transportation costs, lower energy bills, fewer repairs, and more money in your jeans at the end of the day which we like. People are very interested in how homes post on the channel will fare in severe weather. And it's understandable. You certainly don't want to buy something that's just going to blow over. Boxvana lays it out plain and simple. Light pan is apparently hurricane proof. To me, proof implies 100% certainty. I owned a Casio watch when I was a kid that was water resistant to 25 meters. I didn't go anywhere near 25 meters, like maybe half a meter, and it got water damage. But I couldn't say boo because they didn't use the word proof. My point is proof is a strong word and it shows they got a lot of confidence in what they're building, which is good. That's what you want. Beyond strength, by far the most interest I get in every single video is around price. And what we're looking at is an affordable option here, folks. To sweeten the pot just a bit more, they're built in Kentucky, will ship across the entire continental United States, and will even ship to the Bahamas. They shipped out a custom 2100 square foot modular that's heading to the Caribbean as we speak. Depending on when you're watching this, I guess. Honestly, it's probably already there. They've got a diverse offering that includes tiny homes, modulars, and custom structures, including but not limited to Bitcoin miners. Pretty wild. Buyers can get a custom build or take one of their existing units. So depending on the individual buyer's timeline and needs, the process will change slightly. If you're buying a custom home from Boxvana, they've laid it out into six steps. Step one is discuss. And this is where you'll talk to a Boxvana team member and let them know what you're looking for. Step two is design. And this is pretty impressive. It says within a day of committing to working together, we'll create your project designs and provide basic renderings for your review. Within a day is a quick turnaround. It goes on to say that their design time is free of charge with the build. No fees are paid until the building begins. Honestly, that's pretty generous and doesn't mean you should submit five different plans so you can compare and contrast a bunch of little changes. Let's keep it above board, okay? When you're happy with the design renderings and estimate, they create a timeline and start construction. Step three is the build, and they've got a unique approach that definitely benefits the buyer. After the shell of the box Vana is complete, buyers are invited to join the building team for a walkthrough to experience the layout of the new space. This is an important tidbit that cannot be overlooked. Typically, the way this shakes down is after the buyers sign off on the plan, they don't see it again until the home is complete. That works, but it can be difficult to get a feel for the space from a floor plan, so you're kind of rolling the dice when it's a custom order. Having a chance to get up into the shell of the home to see what the space looks and feels like is a game changer for those that just can't wrap their head around a floor plan. It allows buyers to make adjustments to the space before the home is finished, which is great because it's a lot easier to make the changes before they start building out the interior of the home. The potential downside of this is if they get a bunch of orders and everyone walks through and decides they want to make changes, it's going to slow down production and possibly be a bit of a cluster. Step four and five are combined into inspect and deliver. 
deliver. The builder does a quality control walk, the delivery date is set, and the home is delivered to the property. Step six is move in, and it says from beginning design to taking the keys, your new box of on a home is ready to inhabit in a matter of weeks. Less time, less stress, our team takes pride in making the process as simple and stress-free as possible. Weeks is pretty impressive, but it doesn't tell the whole story. A matter of weeks could be 67 weeks for all we know, but I kind of doubt it. Enough jibber jabber, let's check out a few other units and see what they got going on. As far as dwellings go, Boxvana offers two different types. The first being park model RVs. A park model RV is a towable RV designed to provide temporary living quarters for recreation, seasonal camping, or travel use. Does that mean that nobody is living in one of these things full time? Of course it doesn't. It just means that's technically not what they're designed for. Right now they list three pre-designed floor plans on their website at different sizes and price points, starting with the Canary. The Canary is a studio space with a footprint of just 160 square feet. The description says, from an on-the-go home office to an on-the-road studio to an extra guest bedroom, the options are endless with the Canary. Offering 160 square feet plus storage loft, additional 60 square feet, its lean look and lightweight features allow this tiny home to be easily transported with you wherever you go. The mid-sized park model RV offered by Boxvana is called the Halifax. Nice little tip of the cap to Canada, thank you. The Halifax has a modern look and they say is a perfect mid-sized tiny home at 330 square feet. The description says whether you're looking to buy your first home or retire to simpler life, the Halifax is ideal. The Halifax is built entirely with light pans so it's energy efficient, eco-friendly and fully adaptable. Finally, the largest of the stock floor plans in the park model RVs is my personal favorite, the Monaco. Out of all three, I like the look of this one by a country mile. I think what appeals to me most is the roof line. It has a regular peak for about half the length, then a slight peak at the lofted area, and I think it just looks cool. At just under 400 square feet, it's a one bedroom plus loft, one bathroom unit. The description says the Monaco merges comfort and technology into a luxurious tiny home. Made with light pan, yada yada yada, same as the Halifax. Lately, I've been getting requests for homes that'll work for families or people who simply want more than one bedroom, and Boxvana has it covered. Boxvana has quite a few modulars to choose from, ranging in size from a 240 square foot bunkhouse up to 1400 square feet. The Freeport is a three bedroom, two bathroom home that's 1400 square feet and is listed as their largest and most luxurious home yet. The floor plan has a front living room and kitchen with all three bedrooms at the back of the home and I think it's a great layout for a narrow property where the home will be placed front to back instead of side to side. The description says whether a hideaway or just your happy place this spacious floor plan delivers the freedom of a tiny home and the floor plan of a traditional house. Its contemporary design and thoughtful features provide an inviting space to make your own. At 1400 square feet I wouldn't class that as a tiny home but that's just me. Before I wrap this thing up I am going to check out their pricing but keep in mind prices can and usually do change but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The Canary starts at $65,000, the Halifax starts at $75,000, the Monaco starts at $95,000, and the Freeport starts at $195,000. Boxvana is a Kentucky-based company that are building structures that are better for everyone. Right now, they're the exclusive provider of LightPan in North America, a product they describe as 21st century material to build 21st century homes. It's always interesting to check out who's building what, with what, and for what price all over North America and I think Boxvana provides some serious value not only with their price but with their process as well. Lightpan is said to be hurricane proof and they recently shipped one of their homes to the Bahamas where I'm guessing eventually it'll be put to the test. I'm interested to see what the home they shipped to the Bahamas is going to look like so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.